This is the Saturday Morning Serial Podcast with your host, Amanda Ann. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Saturday Morning Serial. I'm Amanda Ann, and today we are going to talk about episodes one and two of the long-anticipated Disney Plus series, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The series stars Sebastian Stan and Anthony Mackie, and these two have fantastic chemistry on and off camera. And I can't help but notice in some of these scenes, it's literally just the two of them just ablibbing back and forth with each other. And today it's just going to be short and sweet. We're just going to, I'm just going to talk about the first two episodes, like I said. And also when this is over, we'll jump on and we'll have a discussion kind of similar to what we had with WandaVision. So starting off, the story quality of the series so far has just been fantastic. It actually feels like I'm watching a new Marvel movie with each episode. And the characters, they're so well developed. And it just gives us an insight more into the Falcon, which is Sam and Bucky, Winter Soldier, what they've been up to since Endgame. They came back from the blip. So they've been gone for five years. So they're kind of trying to catch up with their lives post blip and especially it's really nice to see sam just with his family we we are introduced to his family the business they have and the struggles they go through and then we got bucky poor bucky i feel so bad for him he literally has nothing and i was just saying how every avenger has something to go home to whether it's family friends or like a job that consumes you basically you know like Rhodey he's just part of the government and you know he's so consumed with his job and then you got Thor he's got his people and then you also just have you know even the Falcon he's got family to go home to Bucky has nothing and he's suffering and he's going to a therapist he's getting the help he needs but it's you can tell it's not helping and he's just like forever depressed and you you just feel really bad for him but he eventually does team back up with the falcon in episode two now just rewinding a little bit at the end of episode one we are introduced to and this has the internet buzzing we're introduced to the new captain america which is clearly not steve rogers and to us it's a little unclear so far if steve is dead because we did see him as an elderly man at the end of endgame with a fulfilled life he ended up marrying his love and all that fun stuff so to me i don't know we're we're just gonna assume right now that he's gone and the falcon sam he gives the shield to the government and so episode one ends with the new captain america holding the shield that he donated to the government so that had the internet raging and i know for a fact me i'm just like oh man like it's just it's so off there's something about this new captain america that is just so shady and in episode two it explores more it kind of introduces who he really is but he doesn't have the superhero serum that steve rogers had he is more just a big fanboy basically of captain america wants to follow in his footsteps he has the strength he has the determination but he just he doesn't have the superhero strength that steve had so in episode two it's more when the series kind of picks up. We have Team Bucky and Sam. They're trying to stop the Flag Smashers. And they are just looks like a terrorist group that they're hoarding vaccines and they want to take down government leaders. They want to take down the superheroes. But bombshell is they do have the same super soldier serum that Captain America had, which the heroes get caught off guard when they fight. And in this episode also, there's just a lot. There's a lot of things happening, a lot of messages being taken away. And I'm just going to go through the first two really fast here because the third one is really deep and it applies to today. The first message I felt like from episode two is Bucky's under a lot of depression. His mental health isn't good. And he's trying to seek counsel from a therapist and they really have him locked down to this therapist like they even arrest him for missing a session and that's just something that we're probably going to see throughout this whole entire series is just Bucky his mental state trying to overcome whatever he's going through and then now the second thing for me was just like friendship and trust and the new Captain America shows up and he wants to team up with Falcon and Bucky but 
they just they don't accept him naturally i mean that's not his their friend i mean captain america was steve rogers to them that was their buddy and they basically they do team up together but they also have just some grief between the two so we, we're going to see them explore probably their teamwork, their friendship, and I'm hoping in the end that they do come together and just produce massive teamwork <laughs> with fighting the bad guys. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this duo together, and I guess we'll just see in the future episodes what this Captain America is all about, because <laughs> I don't like him. I, I just, and you know, you, you feel bad for the actor, for everyone hating on the character, but you know he's secretly sitting back and going, ha ha ha, look at the public just hating on the character, which, you know, is probably the reaction they wanted in the end. So this next topic I just really wanted to touch upon, and it's really a breath of fresh air to see Marvel taking a political approach to their content. And this past year, we've had the Black Lives Matter, and they're really bringing to the table awareness to racial injustice, racial profiling. And Sam is the victim of racial profiling a lot in this series. And it gets called to our attention about it. And they, they call him, you know, like the black Falcon. And then the cops show up and think he's harassing Bucky and, Then we learn something along the lines of Isaiah. He's just, he holds the same power as Captain America did, but they locked him up. And in a way, we're thinking in the end that Falcon doesn't want to be the next so-called Captain America because of his race. And I really am looking forward to seeing like how he can overcome this. And in the end, I really hope that they make him like a Captain America of some sort, because we really, we need more content like this. The world right now is just, it's a crazy place, and we need to help the ones that need to be heard and seen. So this is really a really good episode, and I implore you to watch it and just think. And you can definitely tell that Anthony Mackie, he's just very, um, he's very passionate about the Black Lives Matter movement also. He's a good person to represent the black community, especially in the Marvel universe. So it's very much appreciated the effect that he's having on the screen. I know for me, you know, I I love all my black friends. I love, you know, I love all people. I give everybody a fair chance and I wish everyone would do that as well. And I hope that just in the future things can get better. And I really, really do applaud Marvel for taking on this. It's really great. But moving on, I mean... On a lighter note, the the humor in this is spot on. I mean, it's like I said in the intro, Anthony and Sebastian Stan, they're just so funny together. If you watch like their interviews and just how they interact with each other, they have those moments on camera. And it's just, it's so funny because it's I can watch them all day just bickering. And it's funny because, you know, Sebastian's always like, oh, Anthony talks too much. And then like Anthony will crack a joke back. And that's there. That's in the show as well. So yeah, these two are great together. I love it. I can't wait to see what's coming up. And every Friday is when a new episode drops. So make sure you catch that. And like I said, when the series is over, we will jump on here. We'll have a discussion and see where it all takes us in the end. <laughs> and I'm calling it right now, guys. Captain America is bad. he is gonna get exposed somehow (laughs) so with that i know this was a little shorter but i do want to give a shout out to my sister and my brother-in-law they just had a baby new little nephew so very excited about that that's kind of what this week has been like for our family and so that's why this is a little shorter than usual but next week we are going to talk about kong versus godzilla and that's a movie i've been really excited about because i just love creature movies like that so yeah make sure you tune in social media is always posted in on the description of the podcast so make sure you subscribe make sure you don't miss a new episode and i will talk to you guys next week